Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mysteriously Divine. I'm so happy to be back with you guys in another video. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are all doing well. You're blessed and you're healthy. So let's get right to it, guys. So today the video I want to make is talking about the symptoms and signs of a spiritual attacks and how to recognize them. This is a very important topic to me as someone who has been spiritually attacked in the past and I didn't know what was going on with me until I started learning about it. I want to be able to share this information with as many people as possible so a lot of people know what to do in the case of any of these symptoms. Now, I don't want you guys to run and think that every time something difficult is going on in your life that you're being spiritually attacked. There are situations where things just happen in life. But the difference between spiritual attacks is how frequently these things happen and the intensity. You can always tell because it's something that is way out of the normal for you. So like I was saying, I have been spiritually attacked in the past and it is something horrible. And if you've been spiritually attacked uh, by actual rituals, it's a little bit different than, you know, the typical evil eye or the typical, you know, someone just cursing you with their words. There are certain levels when it comes to magic. There are certain, certain levels and ashay and power that certain people have depending how long they've been doing this or if there are practitioners that are consistently doing these things and have that power and that ashay to manifest things for people even quicker. So yes, there are levels to magic and there are levels of power and how hard they can hit a person. Now, I do believe there are spiritual protections. Some people have more protection than others. I do believe some people's ancestors are more savage than others. So yes, there's cases where certain people's ancestors you know, can protect them better than others, but it doesn't mean you won't pull the remnants of it. It doesn't mean that it will kind of scratch the surface. And sometimes that little scratch of the surface, depending with how much intensity it was manifested, it can hurt you. You know, it can hit you and catch you unexpected. So I'm going to share with you guys a few of the symptoms of black magic and what you would feel. Because the thing is, Hollywood has sold this belief that magic is just something that normal people cannot do they sell this belief that magic is you know glitter in the air sparks and lightning and you know only people with mutant powers can create magic and regular human beings can and you know everybody thinks oh yeah that doesn't exist and it's just really really terrible you know hollywood has just distorted so many things but guys the first thing i can tell you is that Magic is basically the manipulation of energy. That's all it is. And all human beings are energetic beings and all inanimate objects have energy as well. So when you manipulate the energy for a negative intent, that's when it becomes black. When you manipulate energy for a positive intent, that's what it's called white magic. But there's really no such thing as black or white. You know what I'm saying? It's just the intention in which it's used. So basically, um, what makes magic is really your intention, your thoughts, your words, your focus is what makes magic. The more practice people have doing this on a consistent basis, the stronger it is. The less practice people have or the less faith people have in themselves and in what they're doing and in the outcome, the less powerful it is going to be. So this is where it comes back to what I was saying before. People who practice this consistently or people who own businesses and where this is what they do consistently, of course they're going to have more ashe. Whereas in people who work with demons and with spirits also have more ashe because of the fact that they're getting help directly from the spiritual realm, you know what I'm saying? So there are levels to this. So basically guys, um, how can I put this? If you are going to manipulate energy for a negative intent, you have to remember there are consequences and there are there's karma. There are universal laws. A lot of people jump into spirituality thinking, oh, I'm out of religion, but I can finally do whatever I want. No, it doesn't work that way. There are universal laws that must be respected. There are universal laws that have to be followed. And if you do not follow them, just know that you are going to deal with whatever consequence hits you and it's no one's fault but yours. A lot of people think there are no consequences because they think, oh, only religion to tie you up. Spirituality doesn't tie you up. Well, yes, honey. The spiritual realm and the spiritual world is not a joke. There are so many consequences for it. Just one thing you do slightly wrong can literally throw your entire energy off and cause and wreak havoc and cause chaos in your life in a way that you don't even want to imagine. 
So yes, you need to be very careful when you are doing these rituals and when you, when you are dabbling with things that you know nothing about. If any of you um, have watched any of my previous videos, then you know I have a video speaking about the consequences of dark love magic. So if you are thinking about doing that, go watch that video because there are many consequences to that. And I think my first video I was speaking about, you know, how there are levels to, to doing this and this isn't for everyone. So if you want to watch those videos, go ahead and watch them because I'm not really going to break all that down here since I already made videos speaking about those two specific things. So basically, now that we spoke about the manipulation of energy and the negative intent which is used to do a dark ritual, a dark magic, when you have the rest of the supplies, you know, you are the person that's giving these things power. You, as the, you are the being, as the, as the energetic being that's giving this power, your intention, your focus, right? Everything else that's used, like herbs and candles, all these things are just giving it more power. So in reality, it's not that you know the herbs are what's giving the ritual power. If you are not putting any power into this, what you're doing, you're not going to get anything done. So basically, it's the person. Now, how do you know? If you're being spiritually attacked how would you know okay I would say one of the first things during a spiritual attack now I'm talking about spiritual attacks as if they're intentionally being sent your way there are cases where people are unintentionally attacking you and I'm gonna explain that later I'm gonna put that out there because some people literally are unconsciously doing things because they know nothing about this and once they find out I've seen people that change because they don't know this is more of an intentional attack. Someone going to be a practitioner to attack you or someone doing it themselves because they want to hurt you. How are you going to know if you're being attacked? You are going to, first of all, the more spiritually in tune you are, you're going to feel it faster. If you are completely just not spiritual and you know nothing about this, you haven't tapped in at all, it's going to be harder and I'm going to admit that. So if you're one of those people that you are like at least to a mid-level spiritual and you will have been meditating and you're kind of, you know, dabbling a little bit into knowing about your spirituality and how it works and you kind of know about energies and how they feel or if you're an empath and you're just a full-blown energy, you know, absorbent like I would consider myself to be, we are going to feel it physically. One of the ways you feel it is at the back of your neck. You're going to feel like you have a huge boulder sitting at the nape of your neck kind of like right in this area between the bone and like the beginning of your spinal you're gonna feel like you have a huge boulder when you catch yourself consistently moving your neck twisting your back and trying to find where this pain is coming from you get massages you go you go to the spa and it may work temporarily and the next thing you know a few minutes later i mean days later you're gonna have this huge pain right back and it's very uncomfortable guys and there's moments where it feels like like you have ants kind of crawling in this area and you're just like god that means you're overloaded with negative energy when you feel that heaviness at the nape of your neck and your upper back just know you are overloaded with negative energy and that's if you've done massages you've been to the doctor and there's nothing that's working it's definitely negative energy that is has accumulated on you and because you're not getting any cleansings this negative energy is already kind of part of you and yes, you can remove it. I'm going to speak about that towards the end. But this is one of the signs. One of the second signs I would say is bloodshot eyes and like consistent headaches. Now, like I said, you don't want to blame everything on, on witchcraft or, or, or spiritual attacks. You want to make sure you go to the doctor. If you've been to the doctor, if you drank, you know, Tylenol, and you you know, you've done your thing. And you notice that it's not, you know, that it, it, go, it may go away. Maybe you just have a migraine. But if you've done all of that and you're fine and you are consistently having these like little headaches and your eyes are bloodshot, puffy, you have no allergies, you know, you're just in a very, I would call it brain fog. It's like you don't know where you're standing, you don't know what you want, you're consistently forgetting everything. And because of so much thoughts going through your mind consistently and because the headaches with the thoughts all over the place and it's like you don't know where you're going, you don't know what you're doing, you feel kind of lost. You have so many tasks to do, but yet you forget to do everything. And you end up not doing either anything because you have no energy to do it, or you just completely forget. And it's like a consistent forget forgetting. It's like insane. And I'm telling you because it happened to me. You're consistently forgetting. You could say, oh, I'm going to get up and fry an egg. Next thing you know, you forget to fry the egg. And next thing you know, you get up and do something else. 
And then you're like, I was supposed to find that. I was supposed to make dinner. I was supposed to call the doctor. And it's like, you just consistently forget how to do everything to the point where you have a whole list of tasks to do and you haven't even started to do that one of them. It's insane. This will cause you to get these headaches from the overthinking and just the confusion and your eyes are going to be kind of bloodshot. These, that, that's like, I would say a second sign of spiritual attacks. Mind you, after you have already discarded any other, you know, symptom, you know, medical symptom or all of that. A third symptom you may feel when you're being spiritually attacked is cold feet. Your feet will be freezing. Your body will be freezing. You, it's a freezing that you can't even explain. You know, you're, you have your heater at 80, the windows are closed, you have socks, and you're still cold. And it's a very eerie kind of cold. Because it's a cold, but then it's like you're cold and you're scared. You feel scared at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's like you have a, a, it's like having a ghost sitting next to you, kind of, because you're like, I'm cold and I'm uncomfortable and I'm just like, why am I feeling this way? It's a very uncomfortable type of feeling. So I would definitely say feeling cold, especially on your feet, is another symptom. The fourth symptom, and I'm gonna kind of just throwing them out there, guys. The fourth symptom, and I'm talking about physical symptoms that you're going to feel, is definitely a lack of energy, guys. You're going to feel like you have no energy whatsoever. It's an exhausting type of energy. Like, imagine working a 16-hour shift, standing and coming home, but all you did was work in a normal 8-hour shift and you work in an office sitting down. And it was not a busy day. You're going to feel exhausted to the point that you come home and all you want to do is sit on the couch the whole day and it's like you're so tired that you don't even care that you have to make dinner for your children you don't care that you have to do laundry for your husband like you just your house is falling apart and you just don't have energy it's it's like the most insane thing you have no energy depending on what kind of you know magic they're working on you too it may um vary so you may get one or the other you may get all of them depending on what they're doing because there's more severe type of attacks let's put that out there uh, a fifth symptom you may feel is, let's see, I'm kind of throwing them out there depending on what I was feeling when I was being spiritually attacked. I felt very depressed, very depressed. I remember I used to cry for everything. I'm talking about ball my eyes, guys. Just cry, 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 consistently. I would start thinking about things that happened to me when I was six and just cry about an ex-boyfriend that broke my heart when I was 10, cry. Everything was just a consistent depression, a consistent depression, anxiety. There's moments where you even have suicidal thoughts. Yes, guys, it happens. It is a depression, and I, I feel like a lot of people that are depressed, not all cases, I'm not gonna say that, but there probably are cases of people who have committed suicide and it's because they were being attacked and they just didn't know that they were being attacked and maybe a cleansing would have been enough for them to just kind of snap out of it because a lot of people don't understand is that spiritual attacks especially ill-intentioned spiritual attacks are basically just smoky mirrors in front of your face and in your mind confusing you it's just like the the seven of cups tarot card it's a whole bunch of confusion you're just like seeing things that aren't there imagining things that aren't happening and making things 10 times worse in your mind than they are so i would say seven of cups eight of swords energies that's basically what black magic is you feel like you're self-sabotaging yourself because your thoughts are making you make choices that are not good for you and they're driving you crazy so i would definitely say that's another thing depression anxiety negative thoughts consistent negative thoughts would definitely be another symptom so a sixth symptom that you would feel, and I feel like this symptom is predominantly if you're being attacked either by like um, some kind of love work, whereas like they want to make you break up with your boyfriend or they want to start problems with the husband. Like I feel like this symptom is more when someone wants you to break up from someone or it's like a third party trying to, you know, cause issues in your relationship, but it can happen in other, you know, workings. Is... I would call them glamour spells, but not glamour spells. I don't know if you, get, you guys get where I'm going with this. It's like, there's glamour spells as in that there's spells that people do to be more attractive. 
but then there's spells that are done so that you not actually spells but it could be one of the symptoms of love works of negative love works if they want to separate you from a partner is that you're going to start to see yourself ugly you can be the most gorgeous woman or man people could tell you consistently that you're so attractive and every time you look in the mirror you're gonna feel like you're just an odor you're gonna cry because you're gonna feel like you look so horrible you feel like you're just this terrible person and what this does is this has a this has a reason guys this has a specific intention and the intention of this is to make you to break down your self-esteem when your self-esteem is broken when your self-esteem is broken down you have no power because you feel like crap so this is gonna make you close off you're not gonna want to dress the way you dress your, your light and your and your shine is going to diminish. You're not going to want to go out, do your hair because you feel you're so terrible. It is that. And one thing can lead to another as well. So even if it's not a specific symptom, your self-esteem being broken down can lead to depression. So it's like one symptom leads to another, to another, to another, until it just blows up and people just commit atrocities. So yes, that's definitely a symptom when you start to out of nowhere just feel like you're so ugly, you're so unattractive, and you just don't understand why it's consistently happening almost every day or every other day. Definitely check into something that's not right with that. Another symptom that I would definitely say you get if you're being spiritually attacked is feeling as if though nobody loves you. You're gonna feel like nobody cares about you. Like absolutely nobody loves you. You feel like you're completely alone, alone in the world. You can have so many people around you that care about you and love you, but you're always going to feel like you're alone. And this is done so that you can isolate yourself. This is the miss for isolation. Remember what I said, one thing leads to another. So if you isolate yourself, these demons can attack your mind and just wreak havoc on you. They will destroy you if you let them destroy you. So definitely, definitely a symptom is... Be careful when you start to feel like you have so much support around you, but then all of a sudden you're going to feel like nobody loves you, nobody cares about you, nobody worries about you. And you, even if you have a house full of people, you're finding yourself being stuck in your room by yourself with the door locked and everybody's in the living room because you feel like they don't love you. Yeah, that's definitely something that is not normal and I would definitely check into that if you're feeling that kind of symptom. Another physical symptom that you're going to feel if you're being spiritually attacked is palpitations. Your heart is consistently palpitating. This means that there's a very dark energy around you. This can sometimes be felt if somebody actually intentionally sent a spirit your way. This is done a lot in the Caribbean where people will like buy spirits and send them to someone for a negative intention, sometimes to break up a home to cause death, illness. And these spirits latch on to people or can, they can be in your home and these spirits will definitely cause palpitations and this is very dangerous because the palpitation could cause a heart attack guys so this is serious stuff if you've been to the doctor and they tell you you have nothing wrong then definitely definitely check into that okay another symptom is going to be if you're a woman listen to me if you're a woman especially because you know women always having getting attacks because of love workings and things like that predominantly if you feel like you're bloated in your abdominal region as in like your reproductive section your reproductive organs you are completely bloated to the point that you even wonder am I pregnant it doesn't matter how how thin you are you're just gonna feel bloated this was a symptom for me. I went to the doctor one time. They found nothing that's wrong with me. I went to get an ultrasound. They found absolutely nothing wrong with me. And my stomach was completely bloated for like a year. Guys, as soon as I got a cleansing, my belly went down incredibly. And after I got my second cleansing done, my stomach was basically flat. And even though because I'm a mom, I have a little, you know, tiny little gut. But it was like double the size to the point that people would ask me if I was pregnant because I'm so small. So as a woman, if you've been to the gynecologist, if you've been to the doctor, if you've done all type of, you know, checkings and your stomach is completely bloated and you can add a few of the symptoms that I mentioned, then definitely, definitely get a reading, get divination and check and make sure that you're okay because this is definitely a symptom, that bloated feeling, especially with evil eye. Evil eye makes your stomach bloated. 
it really blows your stomach. So if you're around people that you know don't like you and they're consistently throwing negative evil eye at you, even if they're not, you know, doing actual rituals on you, check that out, guys. Check that out. That one was a huge one for me, bloating in my stomach. So these symptoms that I have been giving you guys are definitely um, being thrown out there. So if you see me kind of, you know, thinking, it's because these are all symptoms that either I experience or things that I'm aware of for sure. So this isn't planned. This is literally coming from my spirit to you. Another symptom that you're going to feel is your hair. If your hair looks brittle, dry, if your hair is swollen now, like if you want your hair is thick and beautiful and it's healthy most of the time, if you're not a person that you're consistently putting chemicals or you have no excuse as to why your hair should be falling now, you have no illnesses, let's put, always put the medical stuff first, guys. I always say this. You have no illnesses and your hair is consistently falling out, your hair is brittle, dry, and disgusting, yeah. Add that, like I said, there's some symptoms that you're going to have to add them with other stuff. Because aging and different types of things can sometimes affect our hair. So make sure you add that to another, a few other symptoms from the ones I've been mentioning. And I would say, I don't know if this is going to be my last symptom, hopefully nothing else comes to my mind, is breakouts. Oh my gosh. Breakouts are, oof. Especially if you're a woman and you know that you've been getting attacked either by an evil friend, a hater friend that you have around you that dislikes you or a coworker, or if you know that there's an evil ex of your husband or boyfriend that does not give up and she keeps coming for you. And if you get a lot of these beauty symptoms at the same time, trust and believe someone is doing a beauty spell on you to either make you less attractive. So like I said earlier about the glamour spells, there's glamour spells to make you more attractive, but there's also spells to make you feel like you're less attractive and to actually attack your physical to where you're going, your body's going to change. Your hair can fall out, like I said. Your face will completely break out out of the blue. Like, you know you're not eating anything, you haven't changed your diet, you're not doing anything different, and all of a sudden you're getting these postures and these bumps all over your face and just, you know, like, marks and weird things on your skin out of the blue. Definitely, that mixed with the hair, mixed with the weight or the bloating out of the blue. Check that. Because like I said in the beginning, these symptoms happen consistently and they happen frequently. There is no way if you're a healthy person and you've been to the doctor and you've done all your stuff and everything is perfect that you're going to be consistently getting these type of symptoms every other week. Mind you, you take prescription medications for your acne, you're taking your vitamins, you're eating veggies and fruits, you're drinking water, you're doing everything right and you're just breaking apart like an old car. It makes no sense. This is why I always say if your spirit is telling you that something is wrong, always 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 listen to your intuition because your intuition will tell you right away when there's something wrong your intuition like your body's going to know when you're sick of something and even you're gonna know you're gonna be like you know what i've been eating really unhealthy so i think i'm getting bloated because if you know you ate you're eating ice cream every day and you're eating chips and junk food every single day or every other day and you're bloated obviously you're gonna say you know i've been eating a lot of junk food i may just have bloating because i have to use the bathroom with all the junk food that i've been eating but if you know that you eat healthy like i said if you have everything right and you're getting these symptoms guys do not sleep i'm telling you from experience i slept and it was destroying me. I was getting beat up left and right because I didn't know this was happening a few years back. Okay? These are symptoms. And if you feel at least four of these symptoms at the same time, definitely get divination. Even if it comes out negative and you start to realize other reasons why it's happening, you'll at least be safe. You'll at least know that it's not something severe. Now, I don't want to break in um, how to get rid of this stuff because I want to make another separate video to talk about that because it may be pretty long and I don't want to have an hour here talking. But definitely, I'll save one of the symptoms. I mean, excuse me, sorry. One of the uh, ways you can get rid of the energy depending how light it is. There are severities to these attacks, remember, like I said. So some things are not going to be solved by salt. There are cases where people are truly evil and even go to other countries to get things done for other people and these attacks can be severe where you're going to have to go to a person with you know, more experience. And if you don't want to go to another person with more experience, then you're going to have to know that these cleansings, it's not just a one-time thing. 
you may be able to do it yourself but you're going to have to consistently do these cleansings every day or every other day for at least a month and after a month you will still have to check and see you know what's going on so salt like i said salt vinegar are two of my go-to ingredients when it comes to cleansings you can literally scrub some salt all over your body and rinse and you can do this every day for a few days and you're going to see how good you feel you can dump some vinegar diluted with water over you after the salt scrub if you want that's an amazing way and do this before bed an amazing way to get any negative energy off of you if you know you're not being spiritually attacked but you know you're consistently around people with dark heavy energy then definitely salt scrubs every other night before bed are the go-to thing do this and you're going to see how you not only you're going to go to sleep better you're going to still have a better sleep but you're getting off all this energy that you're carrying on you from these negative individuals at work or from just places and stores we go into negative energy can literally leech onto you anywhere anywhere because energy is everything has energy guys so you could be standing next to someone that has negative energy and that can literally leech onto you and you could take it home so it's important to always use some type of salt scrub you know vinegar another thing i really like is ammonia ammonia is <laughs> ammonia don't play if you have tile floors and you can clean with ammonia clean your mirrors with ammonia clean your doors with ammonia if they can be cleaned with ammonia remember hardwood floors you can't clean with ammonia but if your floors can handle ammonia I absolutely love ammonia. Camphor blocks. Camphor blocks and water will remove any negative energy. You can keep a bowl of camphor with, with um, I'm sorry, a bowl of water with a few cubes of camphor blocks in them. And this will literally keep any negative energy out of your room. And it will give you good sleep if you're consistently being bothered while you sleep. You can keep one at the entrance, big bowl of water with a few cubes of, you know, um, camphor blocks in them by your behind your entrance of your door and in your bedroom or under your bed and you will see how good you sleep and the difference that it makes having this in your house so i'm gonna make a separate video talking about that these are more simple things that you can do and like yes you can burn sage burn herbs to clear the negative energy and the stagnant energies in your home as well but that'll be in the next video i'm gonna break down other things you guys can do in my next video of how to get rid of the spiritual you know gunk and negative energy yourselves i'm going to show you a few tricks so the next video is going to be exciting because i'm going to talk about how you're going to do that and i'm going to break it down for you guys to help you out we need to help each other out guys there's a lot of negative energy going around i don't know what's wrong going with all these shifts happening in the universe and all these changes there's a lot of darkness in the world we can't change the world but at least we can protect ourselves protect our children and protect our homes from all this negative energy that's being out in the world right now and at least our little safe haven which is our home and our physical body will be in a positive state to handle anything that comes our way and to be able to survive in this new world with all this weird energy guys thank you so much for watching my channel for watching this video i appreciate you guys so much please comment like you know subscribe and share my videos if you want to comment down there below you know let me know what other symptoms you know of and let me know of any other um different cures for these attacks that you guys may know about i would love to hear from different perspectives from different people from other places thank you guys so much i appreciate you and i will see you again on the next video bye take care